I want to go visit Steve. Hee 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 hee. I want to see how he's doing. I really, really do like Steve a lot. He's he's really growing on me as a character. Sir Cash certainly offered me a new experience. Oh, what do you mean? Normally, I'm not one to fly co-pilot, but when an 800-pound Krogan requests to take control of your shuttle, you comply. Probably wise. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, doggy. Hello, doggy. All right. Come on, James. What's going on? I wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sir Kesh. That is a good question. We never quite figured that out, did we? Why do they care about the Krogan female? I don't understand either. All right. Let's check out Yavik. I don't know where Eve is, but I'm just gonna search every nook and cranny for the most part. Why are you so interested in my people, Asari? Protheans are always an enigma, a mystery to solve. I wanted to know what happened to your civilization. Why did such an enlightened race disappear? Enlightened? Well, it seemed that way. And now that I am here... I wonder what it's like waking up 50,000 years later to a new galaxy. I believe this cycle cares too much about what other species think. Hmm. Krogan, Turian, Salarian, all were primitives in my time. What good does their help do now? We can't win this war on our own. Then demand their help. Do not indulge their selfish requests. What will saving one Krogan matter? If only it were that simple. Yeah. Not... If they get in your way, destroy them. Excuse me? I apologize. The previous occupant of this room left traces of himself. I have absorbed some of them. That does make yes, sense. Grunt. He was a strong one. Maybe it's best if I let you recover. That would be best. Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far mm. they have come. The Morden Salarian asked if he could dissect me. I approved. But only if he could defeat me in combat first. I don't know. His reply was problematic. Mm. Then he left. I do not understand that one. Mm. I don't know. I actually think my money's on Morden on that one. Morden's easily, um, you can underestimate him pretty well. He's, he can hold his own. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download uh -oh. it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. Someone's gonna take you seriously. The Asari Republic's vote on stuff like this. We'd all save every world if we could, but we can't. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Oh, gosh. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. I think I'm gonna Lose go one with... colony, save five. That's the math. Uh... Someone's gonna take you seriously. Right, my female shepherd would Republic's side with him, on stuff so like I'm this. gonna side with Diana. We'd all save one. every world. Stand down, Yeoman. She's allowed to voice her opinion until I disallow it. Aye, aye, Commander. But how does she get to say whatever she wants to the whole galaxy, and there's no other side? I'll be clear that the opinion expressed is just my own. That's fair. Well, okay. It's not great, but okay. Commander. Diana. Okay. But you know, I mean, uh, they make very good arguments. It's tough. It's tough. I don't think there really is a right or wrong answer to that. Engineer Adams. Maybe he went to the John, I guess. Engineer Donnelly. Commander. Donnelly. Nothing to report. Daniels. Let me check down in the basement. I don't think we put the female. I don't think we put Eve in the basement, but we're just gonna check. Maybe even at Adams. Maybe Adams down here. Nope. Nope. When is Ashley getting better? She's been uh, out for a while. 
And she's a specter now. I kind of want her back on the Normandy. That's okay. Um, crew deck. one the one with like the card table I really doubt it they put her yeah and the like sun suntan booth or whatever that thing is over there maybe she's with Liara or maybe even with Dr. Chakwas Edie stop messing with the doors still relying on the Protheans for all the answers it will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. I think it's awesome that people can banter with each other even, you know, when they're in different parts of the ship. That's very convenient. Good to see you again, Shepard. You too, Liara. Prothean Notes 2186, Entry 3. If what Yavik says it's true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror, and I think he would sacrifice all of us without a thought if it could bring them all back again. I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Did we romanticize the Protheans because we left? We were dazzled by the technology left behind? Are these really the people I dedicate my life to studying? Oh, Liara is really, um doubting the Protheans now. It's sort of like... I'm a big Harry Potter fan, guys, if you haven't noticed. Sort of like in Book 7, and if you haven't read the Harry Potter series all the way through to Book 7, then, sorry, spoilers for like the next few seconds. Um, like when you read about Dumbledore um, from... Basically, when you when you learn all about Dumbledore's past in Book 7 was... It's one of those things where, like, wow, is this the guy that we kind of, you know, were in awe of for so long for for six for six books? But I don't think that's really the same that I think about it because you know, this is back when he was really young, and and um, you know, he actually is a great person. Ended up growing up to be a great person, and he was just kind of being stupid when he was young. Anyway, I got went off the tangent, so sorry about that. Um, Next message. Email from Professor Takesha to Dr. O'Doul. I was calling every supply depot stationed around the Crucible to find enough pure platinum for the Crucible's primary trigger inlay. We barely had enough left to coat a coffee maker. An hour later, a ship pulled up with 16 tons of platinum, courtesy of the Shadow Burger. Then it flew away to scavenge more materials for this project. The ship's captain in ta in emailed me later, saying the broker would stay in touch with our needs. That's great, but I'm checking my computer for bugs. So I need to talk to... I thought I needed to talk... Excuse me. I needed to talk to Glyph about stuff. Don't I? Um... Maybe not. Greetings, Commander. Hi, Glyph. Do you want to talk to me now? No? Alright. He likes to say hi to me when I'm leaving. That's, that's very nice of you, Glyph. Very nice of you. There she Aware is. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. Are you fixing For her up a third with time, Garrus? Doctor? I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard. We were just. Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. Hey. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. Rex, it's okay. Morden is trustworthy. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? 
Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Hmm. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Mm -hmm. Or Solarian doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. Mm -hmm. So I guess, um... Rex Maybe with an inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. What are you talking about? Method to extract functional cure without killing you. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. And you have to do it out loud? <laughs> yes. Auditory learner. Need to hear self think. Simulate conversation to promote new ideas. Maximize productivity. But you're talking about me dying. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patient. <laughs> no, it just means I can't sleep. <laughs> Doing my best to keep you alive will avoid sensitive subjects. Awesome. So apparently, Rex, I was mistaken, was not completely aware that Morden was his inside. Um, but uh, it looks like they're they're respecting each other. That's that's pretty cool. Um, and that banter was just was just priceless. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. That's right. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. Let's talk about Morton. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, he's not. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and... <laughs> <laughs> Well, it wasn't his ear. <laughs> yes! That made my day. Morden singing again. Totally made my day. Worth the however $80 or whatever I spent on this game just to hear Morden sing again. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachonka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. Aww. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Solarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. <laughs> His head's big enough already. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Oh, I know. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. 
It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that, you can tell him. He's a mutant? I did not realize that. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. That's what I'm worried about. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Aww. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. Hmm. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. That's interesting. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. Wow. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. Wow. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. Hmm. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. Hmm. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. Huh. That's pretty cool. Thank you. It's very nice of you. Thank you, Eve. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. I really like female Krogan. <laughs> hey, Morden. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. I'm so glad Morden's on our ship. Even though he's not in our squad, I'm... So really glad he's on our ship. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her? My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me promised to help her. She said, please. Wow. I, again, my respect for Morden just keeps increasing, increasing, even when, you know, I thought it couldn't possibly increase anymore. You've always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turian's doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat, outlet for aggression, cooperative symbiosis. That's it? Nothing else? No personal stake here? 
Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong? Yes. Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. I love that quote now. Had to be me. Others might have gotten it wrong. So, we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. Mm. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachunka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. So, the end justifies the means? Not my means. But you're using the data. Encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. We'll always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure Genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now if possible. Unless he could help. I have a feeling we might run into him. Just a feeling. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well. Tune hormone production. Long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. Fair enough. Nice talking with you, Borden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure. Work against collectors. Decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny. Sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. Mm. Morton brings up a good point. He's accomplished a lot in his life. Created a genophage, find a cure for the genophage, stop the collectors, hopefully stop the reapers. I mean, that's quite... That's quite a... A lot of uh, stuff to put on your resume. Eve, stop messing with the doors. Or Shepard, they Eve. say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. Good to hear that you got all that respect for her, Garrus. Alright guys, we're almost done. I just want to... Make my way up to my cabin and make sure that my fish are fed. Because that's very important. There you go, little fishies. Okay. Oof, we accomplished a lot today. Alright everybody, thank you again for joining me, I thought this was a very exciting, very fun, and very informative uh, session. So, I am going to sign off here for now. Till next time, love yourselves, and love each other.